Aquarius Workshop Understand the truth about humility I start with a quote from Pathwork Lecture 232 with the title Being Values versus Appearance Values Self-Identification And the quote is as follows it is very false to imagine that he who thinks so little of himself is humble and good. This is one of the many dualistic misconceptions your world is permeated with. Self-devaluation is equated with humility and goodness, and self-value is equated with pride and arrogance. Nothing could be further from the truth. End of quote from Password Lecture 232. There are so many misconceptions on the part of everyone about the real meaning of the divine power of humility. A humble attitude is collectively confused with submission, slavishness. To be humiliated and have a loss of pride, self-respect or dignity. Nothing could be further from the truth. The truth is that a humble person has the courageous attitude to face and meekly accept himself with all limitations, to understand the spiritual laws, to take every unpleasant consequence as a healthy medicine, to patiently follow this path of inner self-development and persevere willingly, to put God above everything and realize that you are part of a greater whole, to open yourself to another, to give the best of yourself to life, to be honest in seeking the truth and to take responsibility for oneself. A humble attitude is an important condition for spiritual development. But when humility is blocked, this power splits into the duality of pride and inferiority. In this workshop you will explore, with a loving curiosity, three fundamental themes of the Pathwork Lectures regarding the truth about humility. The first theme. Humility and dignity go hand in hand. Dignity, a healthy self-esteem, is a divine quality and its distortion is pride. For example, we cling stubborn to an opinion based on the mistaken belief that a proud attitude conveys dignity. Daring to admit wrong in a healthy, mature way takes true humility. It takes a certain generosity to be able to admit that you are wrong. This attitude actually provides dignity. The next quote stems from Password Lecture 37. True dignity can only exist hand in hand with complete humility. He whose ego currents are so strong that this his self-will speaks first or has the upper hand must, by necessity, by logical conclusion, be proud, and that person cannot be dignified. In the measure that self-will, pride, vanity, egotism is present in the soul, bringing necessarily fear in its wake, dignity cannot exist. He who can humiliate himself at specific times, if there is a good reason and cause, has true dignity. End of quote from Password Lecture 37.
The second theme. In humility, activity and passivity are in harmony. When we accept the spiritual law of cause and effect, we no longer look to the outside world for the cause of problems, because we realize that we created the situation ourselves. That is true humility, a healthy, passive force. At the same time, humility activates a healthy, active force that stimulates us to bear all responsibility. There is a willingness to work on it and we have the power to overcome these problems. The next quote stems from Password Lecture 40. True humility is passive in as much as it accepts the temporary state of suffering, understanding that it is self-inflicted, but it is also completely active in the willingness to work, to overcome, to fight and to recognize self-responsibility for all suffering in the most direct way possible. There you have a good example of a harmonious interplay between the active and the passive currents as they should be. End of quote from Password Lecture 40. The third and last theme. Humility is accepting your imperfection. However free we may appear outwardly, we are inwardly a slave as long as we shrink from any imperfection. The middle way is clear perception and unresisting acceptance of the shortcomings of ourselves and others. A good measure of the degree to which we humbly accept our imperfection is the degree to which we remain serene in the face of other people's faults. The last quote stems from Password Lecture 234. The humility of giving up perfectionism, the honesty to pay the price for developing slowly into a more genuinely perfect being are indispensable prerequisites are, in fact, aspects of perfection already. It may seem paradoxical. By accepting humbly your limitations, your imperfect state, and looking at it creatively, constructively, and specifically, so as to understand and make connections, it is already a manifestation of the Godhead within. End of quote from Password Lecture 234. I wish you peace and all the best. Thank you.